There are tons of videos like this out there, but I'm going to make my own video and show you guys how to utilize your iPad if you're a student or a content creator. I am a student and also a content creator. So I'm gonna show you how I use my iPad for my own uh, productive purposes, the apps that I use, the widgets I use, the things I use to keep myself productive. And it does help if you have, if you're in the Apple ecosystem. So if you have an iPhone, Apple Watch, an iPad, they all sync together and all makes your, uh, workload a lot easier and it just balances things out but you can have an iPad and an Android device and vice versa and still make things work so I'm gonna go over all of that in this video so strap it in this might be a long one as most of my videos are anyway because I like to go in depth so I go in depth so you guys can learn and just uh, figure out if you want to make this purchase or not so if you have an iPad maybe you can learn some more things about how to use it and if you don't Maybe this might make you want to get one because this also applies to any iPad model when it comes to the base model of the regular iPad 7th gen, which is like 300 something bucks. You have the iPad mini, iPad Air, and the iPad Pro models. It's all the same because it's an iPad and they're all powerful and they could all do this just as well as the next model. So let's get into the video. All right, so I did make a video showing you how I use my iPad Pro screen recording like this and I forgot to turn the mic on so this is round one for you guys round two for me of talking about how I use my iPad Pro as a student content creator so let me start this over again I have my widget panel over here and the most important widget panel or at widget on this panel is my up next what's going on next so I have class soon at five as I'm making this video um, we have my good tasks that has my task here as long as as well as my schedule and what's going on today as you click on Widget that's not done yet. Damn. I gotta fix that But here's good tasks. You got to pay 10 bucks to use the app fully. Otherwise, it'll keep hindering you to donate It's kind of worth the money. I mean, it's just 10 bucks, but if you're on a budget just use the reminders app it's just where it works exactly the same to be honest I just have this because it's more convenient on the widget tab because it shows my full to-do list as opposed to just maybe three or four things on the reminders app and I gotta go into the app to check what other things that I have to do um, so click here to make something new today now at home set it as a priority see what important it is yada yada you can high priority I mean I don't see the use for other these things I don't use them I make my task, then I do what I need to do, and I go to the next thing. So that's how I start off my use of my iPad. I see what I need to do. So I do have my Good Notes app here. We have uh, YouTube scripts. This is for an old script from my old uh, video AirPod Pros versus Sony WF800 SPs. So you have a laser pointer here, and you got to use the Apple Pencil to use it, I believe. And the Apple Pencil second gen is like $130, which is bullcrap because Samsung provides their pens with their tablets. Because they're not cheap like Apple. So you have a text box here. I already have the text box open. You can add text. You can type. You can write. You can do whatever you want. Double tap the pencil to your race. You have your highlighter here. Highlight important facts. You have your undo button here to undo what you did. I believe if you hold it. No, that might be notability. If you hold the highlighter on the screen, it highlights in a straight line. But I don't think that's the case here. So you have your shapes here. You make something here and it predicts what shape you're making and straightens it out. Pretty cool. And you have the lasso thing. I don't know what this does. Take screenshot, convert. Oh yeah. So if you were writing something like with hand free with the Apple pencil, you can lasso around it and have it convert into text. So for example, I'll write the word what Hopefully it understands what that is. Then I'll lasso around, I'll hit convert, and it converts it into a text. And then you can do that. Pick a language. Yeah, and it turns into what? I think you're supposed to convert, and I want you to convert. What? Cancel US. Yeah, so. That's what that does. I think Notability is the one where it converts it into actual text. So once we go into Notability, I'll show you that. But yeah, you can make your own notebooks here. When you make a new one, you can make a folder, a regular notebook. You can scan documents. You can import. You can take a quick note. 
which brings up any page and you can take a quick note real quick you can add a page ruled and wide different stuff so let's keep it moving um, study apps you have reminders here if you don't want to use good task you can use this right here you guys should be familiar with the Remi reminders app if you have iPhones and iOS. For those who have converted over, this is just how you make your reminders. Like, hey Siri, remind me to do this and that, blah, blah, blah. So, let's keep it moving. You have your notes app. Everyone knows what the notes app is. Um, you have Microsoft Word. You do have to pay Office 365, $10 a month to use it. Uh, you can also write on here, and then you can double tap to erase. You can select objects. If you guys want me to go more in depth with this, like, because there's a lot of detail to cover with these apps, leave a comment below and I will do that. And you have OneNote, you can change the background color of this, you can change the paper style into different styles. Pretty cool stuff. Uh, you have Immersive Reader, Insert, Home. You can type on here, you can write, you can make your pages. It syncs with uh, your OneDrive, so that way you can use it on your desktop, on your iPad, on your phone, as long as you sign into OneDrive. Microsoft Office, you'll be good to go. You have Zoom. Zoom kind of, not gonna lie, it sucks on here because if you're in class and you want to multitask and take notes on your iPad, your camera will cut off. The teacher will be like, Where'd you go? Blah, blah, blah. I had this issue. So now I do my Zoom classes on my desktop and I take notes on my iPad. So that's unfortunate. Hopefully there's an update that can fix that. But I mean, there's not much you can do with a small screen that's 12.9 inches. That's why we have MacBooks that are 13 inches and 16 inches, or even iMacs that are 27 and 24 inches, whatever. Um, so I have all my other stuff in here for studying, Google Translate, yada, yada. Got my business folder here for, this isn't really, CoStar is not business. I should be in the social media app. But if you guys have dual mobile, mobile to log into your school stuff, I got my YouTube tracker entertainment when i want to wind down i have all the streaming services because i like to watch a lot of stuff in my free time i have all my editing stuff here you get full photoshop almost full but it does the job you have photoshop express if you want to do a quick edit pictures i have to cut that out garage band procreate i'm not really familiar with procreate but i did use it to edit some of these thumbnails like my google pixel 4 thumbnail i use this to edit it that uh, Adobe Draw. I don't really use that. I might delete it actually. Sketchbook if I'm bored. Um, got my finance folder for shopping and finance. Got my Apple folder for all my Apple stuff, weather for all the weather stuff. I really like Dark Sky because it tells you what's happening in the now. Carrot's pretty funny if you want to get made fun of by an AI robot. I uh, got my Google stuff for nostalgia purposes. I really don't use anything on here unless I really need to. I do Google Docs with a classmate and just share documents and stuff like that um i am more involved in the apple ecosystem now although i would like to try the new galaxy phones that are coming out but the way my bank account's set up i can't really do that right now i could and just return it and review it and return it but i don't know I'm still thinking about it um got yeah, lifestyle apps i mean these aren't really useful for me i got a water app to remind me when to drink water and stay healthy blah 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 I got Microsoft Edge because that's actually pretty cool. Um, Microsoft Edge has come a long way. I got my Audible for my books that I don't feel like reading but I could listen to. I have my important apps at the bottom, messaging, Safari, email, banking, YouTube Studio, WumaFusion, Notability, so which I told you I'd get into. So I think with Notability, you can type like the word what, and then you have your cut here, and then you can convert to text, and then that will happen and then it will convert it into a text and put it right on that line pretty cool stuff and you can record on here you can record a lecture in class and take notes you have your laser pointer apple pencil required your text box if you want to text and then that's that with notability and this is what it looks like when you want to make something new um all right well we'll deal with that later uh if you want to share select a note for sharing so you can do some stuff on here. You can add a new subject, a new divider. Uh, you have your settings thing. You can add themes, light, dark, dark blue, handwriting, how shape detection, left-handed mode, palm detection, typing. There's your fonts, your colors, your document, your default note paper. So Notability is pretty cool. I'll go in, if you want me to go in depth with that, leave a comment below. 
Uh, Lightroom is one of my favorite uh, things to use to edit. This was a shirt that my friend designed in honor of Chadwick Boseman, rest in peace. Um, so check out Brave Knight TV on Facebook. I think he has a YouTube. I'm not sure. He has a Twitch channel. That's for sure. Very entertaining guy. Very talented. Shout out to my boy, Justin, man. You're doing good things, my dude. Um, YouTube studio, like I said. Then last but not least, how I make this video. Luma Fusion. Here's a video I made with the Sony headphones. My workflow. If you want me to make a video about that, which I probably might do anyway. I should make a video of my workflow and how I edit my videos on Luma Fusion. And it's really powerful software, like it's really professional grade and you can do a lot of simple things on here to first short YouTube videos like the ones I make. And the export speeds are really, really fast and the iPad doesn't overheat. You'll lose some power in the process, but it doesn't overheat like your desktop would or your MacBook Pros, MacBook Airs especially. So, I mean, if you want me to go in depth with this, let me know, leave a comment below. And if you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe, hit that bell icon so you can get a vibration wherever your phone is or a ding so you are notified about my next video. Again, thanks for watching and take care.